Hello, Taurus, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. Answering the question, what do you need to know right now? This is going to be for the month of April 2023. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the Oracle cards for the overall energy, as well as the overall theme of the reading. We'll dive into the Tarot deck I already have shuffled, as well as the decks that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. I switched things up this week. Um, I have a new Oracle deck that I'm using, and I love it. I love it. I've only used it in one general reading so far, but I absolutely love it. Um, so I didn't clarify these with tarot because I don't feel like they need to be clarified. Um, we'll obviously clarify it when we do pull tarot in the, in the reading. But in your recent past, you have make a decision and the big picture. I feel like there is a some some sort of decision you've been contemplating, and I feel like you haven't really known um, the best way forward. And I feel like because your overall energy for the reading, I'm just going to jump into it really quick, is liberation and direction. Um, and so this has to do without with like a direction that you're wanting to take, um, a direction you're wanting to go. Now, whether that be away from something or towards something, maybe it could be both. I'm not quite sure. I feel like we'll get to that when we look in the reading. But I do see that there's some sort of a, a, a choice that you're needing to make. And the universe is really pushing you to look at the bigger picture. Because I feel like if you have a tendency to focus only on your circumstances and use your circumstances as truth, you have it, you have the, um, you kind of risk getting really lost right now, especially if you're focusing only on like the logical side. Now, obviously you need logic when making any kind of decision, but you know, you've got to learn to balance kind of the logical and the spiritual, learn how to lean on both logic and faith at the same time. Now in your recent past, I feel like you maybe were just feeling a little, um, lost altogether. And maybe you were like, I don't even want to make this decision right now because I am feeling so burnt out. And I feel like that's still kind of your current energy because you have heightened your vitality with be your best self always. And so this is kind of an energy of talking about um, raising your vibration a little bit, because I do, I feel like you've got kind of allowed yourself to get caught up in self doubt and in, and feeling lost and unsure and uncertain. And of course you have, you're a human being. And with this be your best self always, you know, I both agree and disagree with this. Of course, you should always be doing the best you can, but sometimes your best is laying on the couch, getting through the day, right? So when it comes to being your best self, doing the best you can is really how I feel that that's right. And that looks different every single day. And so, yes, there's this need to kind of raise your vibration, but sometimes that means resting. Sometimes that means tapping out of your circumstances for a little bit and just kind of allowing yourself to be. Now, I'm not quite sure what... Um, that means for you, you know, specifically, but I do see that there's almost this need to kind of allow yourself to be where you're at right now, especially if you feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, understand that that decision will be made when it needs to be made, when divine timing kind of strikes. So if you feel lost, if you feel unsure, just know that clarity will come whenever it is supposed to. Now your immediate future, you have shift your energy and be in service. Now, I really feel like these readings so far have been talking a lot about, um, for this week, have been talking a lot about like pursuing your um, abundance in terms of like your your career path or your passion path or whatever the case it is, uh, case is for you. Because ultimately what I'm say, seeing is this is almost like you're focusing a lot, and again, of course you are, you're human. You're focusing a lot on how you can receive and not so much on how you can give. And you have to be able to give to the right energy in order to receive. Now, when you're focusing on being in service, on being helpful to other people, on, you know, just in general kind of being a guide for others, you will then find that the universe will reflect that energy back to you and you will find what you've been looking for um, as well. So it's almost like giving what you want to receive. Now, if you give so much to something that that doesn't ever you know, reciprocate, then that's kind of a good indication to kind of shift, you know, shift your energy towards something that does. And I feel like that has a lot to do with what's going on here is making sure that you're shifting your energy to things that serve you and not on things that um, drain you in a way. Now you have this, like I said, liberation and direction. And the way that I view this is there is a specific path for you. And that path for you will make you feel so much more free than you feel right now, because you are not in an energy of feeling free. You're in an energy of feeling very, um, 
weighed down and tied to your circumstances or tied to a certain outcome or whatever the case is, you're not really actually living. You are getting through the day. Like I kind of experienced that kind of, it feels like burnout is what it feels like. If I'm being totally honest with you. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you're investing in the wrong things. It could mean that the energy behind it is, is needing to shift or something. Your perspective is needing to shift, um, whatever the case is, but let's start Taurus, with looking at your recent past, you have make a decision in the big picture. Recent past for Taurus, please. This is for Taurus's recent past. This is clarifying what Taurus was dealing with in their recent past, please. Woo! Woo-hoo! Taurus, this is exhausting energy. You have the Empress in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. This is literally not choosing yourself, not taking action towards what you want, and not listening to your intuition. Of course you're burnt out. You've been investing in things that have been draining you. They have not been, you know, vitalizing you, revitalizing you. Vitalizing? a word is that even a word i don't know they haven't been energizing you they've been draining you and so it feels like to you i feel like you're like why are things not coming together for me why am i not finally feeling like i'm on top or feeling successful or feeling stable or whatever the case is and it's like well because what you're investing in is not investing in you and i feel like that's kind of where like the shift that's needed is needing to be towards a direction that makes you feel alive and not one that makes you feel like you are going through the motions each and every day because you do that's not what life is about if you're in survival mode then of course that's what life is about but when you kind of tap into that the spiritual power that you have your personal power and you start to realize my beliefs my actions my thoughts you know i create my reality with those therefore what do I want to experience and how can I align with those experiences? Because yeah, this isn't an energy of just like not, um, not putting yourself first at all. Recent past for Taurus. Recent past for Taurus, please. Yeah, you, it's like you lost complete excitement for your past. Like I feel like when you started something maybe it was like you were excited about it you were excited about the potential of it you were excited about where it could take you and then over time you just lost that you lost this excitement you and it became more of a distraction than it did a purpose and i feel like a lot of doubt about what you were investing in started seeping in I feel like a whole new path is kind of opening up for you here, Taurus. Recent past for Taurus, please. Recent past for Taurus. You were trying to create in your comfort zone. That's why, that's why you found this burnout. You got to this burnout. You were trying to create and manifest from your comfort zone. Meaning you wanted things to change, but you weren't making the changes. And that's very common, you know. Um, it's not enough to just dream or pray or hope for it. You have to take the divinely guided steps to get there. And sometimes those steps look really scary. Um, they're exciting, you know, but sometimes they feel very scary because they come with a lot of uncertainty. And so you were trying, it's like, yeah, you were trying to create from your comfort zone. And that is not where things happen. Things happen outside of your comfort zone. Things happen when you are in uncertainty. And I feel like, there's this need to kind of take a step toward where you want to go instead of where you've been. Because I feel like it's like what you've been doing has not been working. All right, clarifying Taurus's current energy. You have be your best self always with heighten your vitality. Current energy for Taurus, please. Hang on. I want to do that again. I didn't like the way that came out. If it's supposed to come out, it will again. It was just the lovers. Let me see. Clarifying Taurus's current energy.
There's a trade here that's needed, Taurus, a trade-off that's needed. Something has it's to change for something to come to fruition. There's a change. There's something that's needed by you. But like, it's almost also though, like you're fearing the change of what you're trying to manifest. It's very interesting. It's like you want things to get better, but you also fear them getting better at the same time. Taurus, you kind of fear your own happiness here. And ultimately, because it's like, then what is there to control? You know, what is there to control if I'm putting my faith in the universe? What do, what do I have to do? Well, what you have to do is trust the universe, right? But, but that takes the control out of your hands and it puts it in the universe. And that's a pretty scary thing to do. Current energy for Taurus, please. I feel like there's like this change you're avoiding or this change that you're pushing off almost. Like you know it's it's got to happen, but you're like, but not yet. Current energy for Taurus. Current energy for Taurus, please. Mmm. Before, well, no, okay, yeah, okay. This is kind of a, a bit of a hard truth here, so bear with me until I get through this and, and understand that there's a, a positive message at the end of this. Your focus right now, Taurus, is on what you don't have. It's on all of the ways that you have not yet received or attracted what you want. And that is narrows your focus to your material world. You focus on how much money you don't have, how many how much many friends you don't have, what kind of relationship you don't have. Like it's like your focus is so much on what you don't have instead of being grateful for what you do have. Being grateful for the little things. Now, you might be in a tough spot right now. You might be like it really doesn't feel like I have much right now. Well, you have a device to watch this tarot reading on. You have, you know, the ability to hear the, you know, the messages that are coming through. Focus on the small things that you're grateful for and watch those small things turn into big things. It's really easy to shift from an abundance to a lack mindset. It's not so easy to shift from a lack mindset to an abundance mindset. And so understand that it's easy to slip into what you don't have, what you haven't created, what you haven't manifested, what you haven't been able to do. And the more you focus on that, the more you are going to attract and receive things that align with those beliefs. The more you're affirming the belief that I do not have what I want or need. And the more you affirm that belief, the more you create that into your experience. Remember, your beliefs are the root of your results. Now, 95% of your decisions, movements, and choices stem from your subconscious. Therefore, 95% of you might not even really, you might not even really know what it's doing. It could just be acting in alignment with these limiting beliefs without your conscious awareness. That's why there's this need to bring your awareness to the thoughts and the beliefs that you have constantly been giving to the world and make sure that it is in alignment because this is a letting your, these two cards right here, the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse, that is letting your circumstances determine your emotions. Meaning when things aren't going your way, you don't look at it from a place of this is happening for me. I just don't know how yet. You look at it as this is happening to me. I am a victim. I am going to fail. I'm going to lose and everything is going to, you know, my life is going to end, whatever the case is. You're allowing your circumstances to control your emotional energy, to control your beliefs. And the more that you do that, the more that you will experience the same things repeating itself over and over. You will have hope and then you will have disappointment. You will have hope and you'll have disappointment because you are literally living as a, you are living attached to your circumstances instead of living in faith. And living in faith is about being able to say, okay, that didn't go my way. That didn't turn out like I planned. That didn't turn out like I wanted it to. But I know that the universe has my best interest in mind and I know that everything is working out for me. I cannot fail because I have the universe by my side. I cannot, um, I might, you know, I cannot, nothing can get in my way because my success is meant for me. You know, your belief system is what you will experience. And right now, Taurus, I'm getting very real with you, is a time to make sure that you are not allowing your circumstances to determine what you believe about your 
life. If things are not working out for you right now, that doesn't mean they're not working out for you. It means that your belief system aligns with things aren't working out for me, okay? Um, so understand that raising your vibration here is about raising your, you know, the way, the, th- changing the way you think. You know, the other day I was doing a, a workout and I just do these like 35 minute body weight workouts in my garage. Like I don't, I used to work out really hardcore and like lift and stuff, but I don't. Um, and it was a hard one and it was like halfway through the workout. I mean, I literally caught myself. I was like, this is, this sucks. I'm only halfway done. This hurts so bad. I just want to stop like this. And then I started getting even deeper and I was like, I'm not even seeing changes in my body. Like this isn't even doing anything. I can't, I'm just wasting my time. And I literally stopped myself and I said, whoa, no. And I was like, we're going to change the way we think about this. And I, you know, I took an extra 30 seconds of a rest and I said, this workout feels great. I'm going to feel, you know, so good after I, I get this done. I'm going to feel accomplished. It's it's challenging, but it's not impossible. It's an, it's an easy workout. Like I, you know, I'm strong enough to get through this. And literally the next half of my workout was like a breeze. Now it was still very challenging and I got a good workout, but it like, it didn't, it wasn't so hard. It was like, I didn't dread it. Um, and that was a big lesson for me, not just, you know, it was just a workout, right? But you can take that and apply it to any aspect of your life when you when you catch yourself dwelling in those rabbit holes oh my gosh things suck and this isn't going my way and that's you know that sucks too and blah 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 blah. this person has more than i do or whatever the case is stop yourself stop yourself in your tracks as much as you can and shift it in that moment say i'm going to change the way i think and look yourself in the mirror and say things are working out for me everything is going my way i just don't know how yet and that is okay um kind of rhymed make a little song out of it. But I I really, really feel like what this is talking about, because you have raised your vibration here, heighten your vitality, you know, make sure that you are, you are believing in alignment with where you want to go, not in an alignment with what you fear happening or what you are worried about. Because the more that you align with that, the more you will experience the same cycles repeating themselves. All right. Sorry, I went a little bit on a, a rant there. That's the reason I like doing these readings. Sometimes I just feel these like channeled messages and I just gotta, I just gotta go. All right. Current energy for Taurus, please. Yeah. I mean, you're feeling overwhelmed right now. I feel like in in a way, it almost feels like you have a lot of different directions you can go. I feel like you are like, well, things could play out this way or I could do this or this could happen or that could happen or blah, blah, blah. And there's this need to not focus so much on like again, on the circumstance, on like what's going to happen because your immediate future, you have shift your energy. It's, it's less about changing anything about your material world right now. This, what you're needing to focus on is everything within. Now I feel like I hear that and I hear Taurus go, I'm so tired of trying to change my belief system. You say this every week and I, you know, I've been doing work and things don't change and blah, 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 blah. But are you consistently showing up for yourself? You know, are you consistently making sure that you are not allowing yourselves to go down these negative rabbit holes? You know, it it is, yes, the work is hard and it's frustrating and results do not when will not happen overnight. But the more that you focus and shift your inner world as above, so below, as within, so without, the more your material world will align with your inner world. That is just like a fact of life. (laughs) Immediate future for Taurus, clarifying, shift your energy with be in service. All right. Immediate future for Taurus, clarifying, shift your energy to be with be in service. So this is interesting. I feel like this is a little bit of like shifting your perspective uh, from a place of like, what can they do for me to like, what can I do for them? Now, I'm not sitting here saying you are a selfish person who is constantly looking for what other people can provide you. No, you are a human being and you are in a place of lack right now and you are looking for help. And that is okay. That's an okay place to be. But the more that you try to shift your perspective on being in service and you give the energy that you want to receive again, the more the universe will bounce that right back to you. But let's see. Let's get one for Taurus's immediate future. You have shift your energy with be in service. Ooh, Taurus, there's a breakthrough coming your way. It's going to close a cycle here. 
there's a breakthrough. And it's it's been a long time coming for this too. Let me get more on this Ace of Swords because it's almost like, again, you've been lacking clarity for so long. And that's been intentional. That's been the universe's plan because there's there's this need for you to feel overwhelmed and confused so that you can work through all of the things, all of the fear and all of the reasons why you don't think things are going to work out for you. Let me get more for this. Let me clarify this Ace of Swords. The Ten of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. And there's that lovers. I knew it would pop out eventually. And there's the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is like a breakthrough. It's almost like about what you're deserving of. Because you wouldn't doubt. If you believe, truly, truly believe on a soul level that you were deserving of the abundance that you wanted, love, financial abundance, success, whatever it is, you wouldn't fear it coming because you would say, I know I'm deserving. Therefore, I know the universe is bringing, you know, bringing it to me. So you wouldn't fear it because you would already know that it exists. Um, but there's this, it's almost like that you have this self-doubt, you have this lack mindset, you have this fear of things not working out. And all of it has contributed to you investing in your world and your path from a place of fear, from a place of lack, from a place of frustration. And that keeps you stuck in fear, lack, and frustration. And so there's almost this breakthrough, some sort of like like clarity. And I don't know where it comes from. It could come from a tarot reading. It could come from a meditation. It could come from a dream. It could come from a conversation with a stranger. It could just hit you in the middle of lunch one day. Um, but there's something that, that then gives you the clarity that you're needing to shift your focus. Because shifting your belief system, I sit here and say, you need to do this, you know, you need to shift your belief system, you need to believe you're deserving, and you know, all this stuff. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. Trust me. I, you know, I've I've been doing it too. But it is, if you want things to change for the better, it is absolutely necessary. Immediate future for Taurus. If you want, you know, if you want to experience different, you've got to feel different. Immediate future for Taurus. It's almost like you start to realize why you've been hitting so many obstacles. Like you start to realize why things aren't moving forward for you. Nine of Wands in reverse, Chariot in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. It's almost like you're like, it's just this like aha moment of like, oh my gosh, this is why these things have, haven't been working out. And it's almost like that allows you to shift your perspective from... to faith almost from like lack to abundance and maybe it has to do with your belief system right but there's this it's almost like you're needing to instead of focusing on the obstacles and being like man all of these obstacles come up and all of these things keep happening and all of these reasons why you know all of the it's the world's fault that i haven't gotten there yet instead of blaming the world look at why these obstacles keep happening why these bumps in a road in the road keep happening where do they come from from within you what are they trying to teach you about yourself because that is going to help you um in you know it's not that you're gonna ever get to a place where there's no road bumps right there's no obstacles obstacles are absolutely necessary in your path the reason why is going to depend on where your limiting beliefs lie where your um you know, your mindset lies and just ultimately where your focus is. Immediate future for Taurus, please. It's almost like, it's like, yeah, like a whole new path opens up for you in a way. But you open it up with some sort of breakthrough here. Judgment, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse. This is like self-awareness at its finest, Taurus, and I love it for you. Because this is like, you know, it's really easy. And I, when I say blame the world, I mean, you know, blame the universe, blame other people. Like, it's really easy to be like, it's their fault this happened. It's their fault this happened. You know, it, and sure, everybody has a fault in everything that they do and that they've received, right? But... When you can take your power back and you can say, this isn't, this didn't happen to me. This happened for me to teach me something. The more that you can take the power back from your circumstances. Remember, I talked about don't let your circumstances be the determining, um, the way that you feel about your reality, right? You want to feel about your reality, how you want to feel about your reality. Now, it's like be grateful for where you are, excited about where you're going. 
Um, now, when things happen to us and we experience, you know, being a victim and, you know, just things that destroy us on an emotional, mental, f- physical level, it's hard to take your power back. And sometimes it can take years. But some people choose the path of just letting it destroy them, right? And it's really easy to do that because it's it's the easier route. You're able to say, this happens to me, the world sucks and, and things hurt, you know? And then you kind of just, you fall into that path of letting, your, you, letting yourself be a victim to your circumstances. Or you choose the path of trying to see the lesson in the pain. And the more that you can do that, the more that you will be able to literally watch your belief about your reality transform from a place of from being a victim to your circumstances to being a survivor and a um, creator of your circumstances. You take your power back. You are then you then go from being something that you know someone that allows things to happen to them to someone who creates things happening for them. And the more that you can do that, it it literally like it will set yourself free. Like that's where you find personal freedom. Personal freedom isn't going to show up at your doorstep. No person is going to give you the personal freedom you're looking for. No financial abundance is going to give you the um, the personal freedom you, you're looking for. The only person that is capable of providing you with that freedom is yourself. And you're looking for it in your circumstances. You're wanting this relationship to work out a certain way, this, you know, this job to pan out the way that you want it to, whatever it is, you're looking for your circumstances to provide you with the freedom that you need to find within yourself. And that will then be reflected in your circumstances. Stop trying to control your circumstances. Start trying to control yourself. All right, Taurus, I know we got a little deep there, but I do hope that this reading helped you in a way that you were needing today. We're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages, dive into the advice, and then I have an actual advice card to pull at the end. Um, Any information for that's in the description box below. And please remember, if you are someone who purchases, all of my extendeds are $5 on my channel, or you can pay $10 a month for my Patreon, where you get access to every single extended on my channel um, moving forward. So Thank you guys so much as always. I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Taurus.